Monday, Florida became the latest state to top 100,000 coronavirus cases. Experts warning the state could become the new epicenter of the virus. Craig? In South Florida, several cities, including Miami, are now making masks mandatory in public. Francis Suarez is the mayor of Miami. He's also uh, a coronavirus survivor. He was diagnosed several months ago. He joins us this morning. Mayor Suarez, always good to see you. Thanks for your time. Uh, Thanks for let's, let's start with the news of the day, uh, Mr. Mayor, because it was announced a short time ago that Miami's Adrian R. Center is going to be hosting the second presidential debate in October on the 15th. That debate, as you know, originally scheduled for the University of Michigan they decided it wasn't feasible for them to host. What, what makes it so feasible there? And, and what sort of precautions is the city of Miami going to take uh, to make sure that, that folks don't come and, and, and contract the virus? Well, as of today, we are uh, not in phase three, which means you cannot have large gatherings at uh, sports coliseums or uh, at, at a, uh, a cultural event place like the Adrian Arch Center. So as if, it, if the debate were held today, uh, the debate would have to be held without uh, people in the audience. Uh, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen on October 15th. That's still several months away, and we're hopeful uh, that when that happens, uh, you know, we'll be in a position to be in phase three. If not, uh, the organizers are going to have to have the event uh, without uh, fans in the audience, as is typical of you know the NBA right now and a variety of other sports franchises that are doing something similar uh, to protect not only their own fans, but their players as well. Mayor, you've called the surge of cases in your state concerning. You've called them alarming as well. Do you think on any level that it shows that the reopening plans across Florida are fa failing? I think what's happened is, you know, and the city of Miami was the last to reopen. Uh, we, we lagged behind Miami-Dade County. We lagged behind the state of Florida. And, you know, some people criticize us for doing that. Uh, but I think what happens is, you know, we're a densely populated city. Uh, and I think what happens is, you know, people uh, want to go out. It's the summertime and they, they unfortunately congregate in violation of a lot of our rules. And so uh, what we're trying to do now is, you know, obviously requiring masks in public, uh, but also uh, trying to enforce uh, different establishments where, uh, you know, where people are congregating in violation of the rules uh, that we've set uh, to make sure that we don't continue to have uh, an increase in cases. Well, Mr. Mr. Mayor, you announced yesterday wearing masks in public in Miami would be mandatory. Why didn't you do this earlier? It seems to just make common sense. And, and, and then how are you going to enforce the rules? Well, it's a very difficult uh, rule to enforce. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we, we're doing everything that we can based on the information as we get it. Uh, we have a monthly meeting with the Department of Health. I'm sorry, a weekly meeting with the Department of Health every Monday. A Monday meeting, um, and after the Monday meeting, we make decisions. Uh, last Monday, uh, we sound the alarm bell that uh, you know we had previous to that been on a, a two-week decline, uh, declining slope. Last Monday, not this Monday, yesterday, but last Monday was the first Monday that we started to see that curve start rising up again, and so we started sounding the alar alarm bells. Then this Monday, based on uh, some of the statistics that we saw, we felt that that was the next reasonable step that we could take. Uh, without having to go back uh, and close businesses that are, uh, you know, struggling to stay afloat and, uh, you know, our economy, which is struggling to stay afloat with, you know, record unemployment and those who are employed are doing so at a drastically reduced salary. Well, you've decided not to push ahead with the next phase of reopening. That that would have uh, allowed you to see things like bars, nightclubs, movie theaters open. So when do you think that's going to happen? Or are you worried that you might be retrograding as far as the, the virus is concerned? You know, we're hoping uh, obviously not to be uh, not to have to retrograde, not to have to go uh, in reverse. But we all our decisions have been driven by the data. Uh, so what we're doing is we're giving our residents tools uh, to prevent the continued uh, spread. And if they're disciplined and if they follow the rules like they did when we had our stay at home order and we saw a dramatic decrease and a flattening of the curve uh, when we did that in late March, early April, um, if we see that same uh, sort of uh, delta, then based on the criteria that have been established where you have to see declining cases in, in, in new uh, coronavirus cases and in, uh, in new influenza-like reporting cases and a reduction in hospitalizations, then if we feel uh, we're ready, we'll advance to the, to the third phase. But only until then uh, will we not advance 
because we want to make sure that our decisions are data driven and protecting our residents. Mayor Suarez, you were reportedly seen at a local restaurant there that's now been shut down for, for breaking COVID-19 rules. Do, do you regret that decision at all going? Yeah, you know, I went to the restaurant to have dinner uh, with a couple friends. Uh, I was following the rules. What happened is I took one picture uh, with someone and I wasn't wearing a mask and I absolutely regret taking that picture. You know, I think as mayor, you have to always set the example. And, and you know, as mayor of, of a city, you're always sort of being scrutinized. So you have to be extra careful. I take, you know, a, a lot of pictures every single day. And a lot of the habits are also hard to break. You know what I mean? People oftentimes will approach me and try to hug me. They'll try to, uh, you know, give me five or, 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 you know, give me their hand. And, you know, you have to sort of uh, stop people in their tracks. And it's, it's, it becomes difficult at times. And sometimes you forget. Uh, but you have to be very careful because in today's day and age, uh, obviously, uh, you want to set a good example for your residents, particularly when you're requiring your residents to wear a mask at all times. So as somebody, Mr. Mayor, who's recovered from coronavirus yourself, you know how quickly this can spread. If the surge generates significant hospitalizations, is the city of Miami uh, prepared to cope with this? We are right now. Right now, we have about double the capacity. Um, but of course, uh, you know, we have to be very careful. Um, you know, it's not something that we have an unlimited amount of capacity. Um, and of course, if, if the, the numbers and the data start continuing to trend in, in the uh, wrong direction, we're going to have to make some very, very difficult choices that we don't want to have to make, which is why we're uh, continuing to sound the alarm bells, which is why we uh, you know, are continuing to elevate uh, the requirements. Uh, so we're trying to balance very delicately, understanding that the economy is in a very fragile place with the fact that we have to protect our residents from this disease. Mayor Suarez, uh, Mayor Francis Suarez there. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your time.